I gave little, little Clarissa a treat. Huh? So they just called me a little slur. <laughs> Aren't we all recording? Yes. Of yes, course. Sir. When am I not? When you're at work, I think. That's true. Uh, I'm going to start recording every conversation I have with everybody while I'm there. That might be for the best, honestly. Uh, Alrighty. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dipships, the legitimate boating podcast. I, as always, am your Captain Calamity Carl, and joining me, as always, my wonderful co-hosts, Rear Admiral PM. My foot's asleep, howdy. Maritime Medi. Oh, hi. <laughs> and Nautical Nick. Hello. I have reclaimed my proper position in the barrel. It's mine now. Yeah, he had to hide in there once we've all taken our new forms. Yeah. Oh, it, <laughs> it wasn't safe I, out here. I like how the last episode came out and the splash screen was completely different with all of our Ojama forms and Nick just in the back crying. Yeah. And it wasn't addressed <laughs> at all whatsoever. No, not even a single time. I didn't even know sure. about it until the episode went yeah, I'm live. I'm pretty sure that only happened because Shora was like, Misha, I'm going to send you the Ojamas to use whenever you want. Misha went, bet. <laughs> and uh, that's the first time I saw my form. Yeah, it's... I am the king, after all. You're the king. <laughs> I hate poop the and Ojamas, shit. thank you. Me too, that's why I'm crying. Someone said the Nick's Ojama blue. Like, oh. <laughs> I saw that too, actually. That's terrible. Like, Shout out insulted? to the one comment. Yeah. I, you, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do a segment every, every week now for the podcast. Uh, uh-huh. I'm going to go back to last week's podcast and pick out my favorite uh, comments from the previous <laughs> okay. episode. Okay. Um... So I'm, I need to shout out, uh, first off, to Emily Catalano. These Ojamas felt like a flashbang. They sure did. I was, I was <laughs> not expecting any of them. And then uh, this one from Chino869. My son started crying when I put this on uh, to listen. He leaned over to look at my phone and saw the cuts to the quote-unquote hosts. 10 out of 10 <laughs> podcasts, 100 out of 100. Yes, that, that is oh, my man. favorite comment from that last episode. <laughs> really oh. funny. We make <laughs> children <laughs> cry. What can I say? Hell yeah. The only children crying podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the legitimate make your child cry podcast. Oh, good lord. All right. Uh, <laughs> Who would like did to I break go something? First? I didn't break anything. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take the reins because I barely right. did anything. Didn't watch it. Didn't play shit. Uh, actually, oh, no, that's not one true. Of my questions. Um, I, I kind of, uh, I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel for a minute, and then mm-hmm. I just randomly went back in, like, the other day. Okay. They've added, uh, two new archetypes. First off, what they finally got? added, uh, Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is kind of wild that wasn't in there at the, at the jump, but it's in there now. Okay. And it's just, it's just bigger blue eyes. He pops more cards on the field when he comes out. Does that's he it. also begin life as a normal monster? Yes, they, every single monster <laughs> that exists as a monster starts off get as him. a normal monster until get it's upgraded. Him. Yeah, yeah, get me, get me. Uh, wait for it. Right in front of my house, yeah, there it goes. And there it goes, okay. Uh, what else? Oh, so they every time they release a new uh, ultra-rare monster, it, it, usually, it usually comes with a new archetype of skills. Okay. So they released... Fuck, I'm trying to remember the, the name of the card now. Oh, they released uh, two ultra rare monsters, and they tied both of these to the to the same like skill archetype, which is called terrain. Okay. So basically when you summon a monster, whenever that monster is summoned on a specific lane, it turns that lane into like basically a field spell. Huh. So in, in the case of all these new cards, uh, when you play the monster, it turns the lane into forest. What if two people play different terrain cards in the same lane? There is only Forest at the current moment. Oh. So, so two people play 
forest, then it's still forest. Yeah, this is it, a problem actually, for future cross so, tool. So let's say you have a monster with terrain. When you play the monster, if the if the lane is terrainless, it turns it into forest. But if you play the monster on a, a lane that has forest, it gains 500 attack and defense. Ah. So if you're mirror matching, you can also you could end up like hurting yourself, but also buffing yourself. Okay. So okay. the reason I mentioned this is because uh, they released the uh, the two ultra monsters tied to this archetype, Black Rose Dragon, which makes sense because it's it is a dragon but tied to plants, and yep. Great Moth. You know, that's honestly what I expected. I you, do you know what Great Moth's uh, ultimate ability is? Not in Cross Duel. Please share. If if you summon Great Moth, all the monsters that are on all your opponent's monsters that are in the forest terrain get transformed into Cocoon of Evolution. I hate that. It what is the, the stupidest shit I have ever seen. Huh. And and it is it is unblockable. It is undefendable. It doesn't matter what you equip your monsters with, you cannot stop it. It's basically a field wipe. Essential. It is a, an essential field wipe. God, it is wild, and I think it may change the game up. Yeah, that feels insanely strong. Cause your opening turn, right? Let's say everyone sends a monster uh, 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 toward you in in their lanes. You mm -hmm. summon one monster on each of your lanes, all of them with terrain, and then on turn two, just drop Great Moth and turn everything in a cocoon of evolution, and then eat them, <laughs> and then eat them. Because everyone's sending out a monster towards you in attack position. Yep. So all the Cocoon of Evolutions are going to be in attack position. They have no attack. They're just going to die. That also, the transformation dumb. is permanent. Jesus Christ. Huh. <clears throat> it only reverts when they existing, hit the graveyard. That's, that's fucked up. I do not look forward to ranked at all. Yeah, that, is, that Granted, sounds the, so the, strong. The, the cards are new, so the, not everyone's going to have them. Not everyone's going to have them built up. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm afraid of ranked now. I think you should be. Uh, other than that, did I play anything else? Not fucking really. Not anything of note. I didn't even touch Pokemon this week because I've had no time. My, my week has basically been uh, looking at apartments. Mm-hmm. Um sleeping and eating and working and that's it that's fair but speaking so, of work hang on real quick just to ask a question yes the answer will probably just be no considering what you've just said mm -hmm. but have you any, had any time to uh, watch that new batch of jojo no i have not i Shame. i have the i have all the episodes downloaded ready to go Hell does yeah. not have had the time to to start one day i'm probably i'm probably gonna do that after i do the part-time tonight fair enough yay okay speaking of work uh, this was last night, and the more I think about this picture that I'm about to post, <laughs> the more I think I didn't actually clean this, and okay. now I'm kind of terrified. So in in one of my bathroom stalls, uh, I found a piece of graffiti, mm -hmm. and uh, here here you go. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and post this. Hopefully, it actually posts properly. Yeah. Did it post properly? It no. Did. It, oh, there there we go. Yeah. Come dub 25 at proton.me. Hot, raw, hung, white. <laughs> yeah, so if anybody's anybody's looking, <laughs> if, you, if you contact come dump 25 at proton, I'd never heard of proton before. Is, has anybody heard of that? No. <laughs> Not even once. Yeah, uh, if you contact come dump 25 at proton.me, you get yourself a hot, raw, hung, white person <laughs> i'm gonna say hung white what white what is it Enjo them or is enjoy. it what they're looking for because like they're the cum dump right uh yeah uh, great question i we should ask some so. follow-up questions in their email um i am I not you're brave gonna have enough to contact them and ask i, I am I not really brave will. enough if anybody else is brave enough if anybody has the, like, parasocial skills of, like, fucking Andrew Patton, that'll just contact anybody out of the blue, by all means, go ahead. I, I might I have do to not shoot have them an email the in courage. between episodes. So, yeah, um, as I'm here staring at this image, I don't remember if I went to go and clean this. I remember <laughs> looking at it, pissing myself laughing, taking a picture of it, and then walking away. And I don't remember if I actually came back to clean this. Oh my god. I will find out 
Tuesday. <laughs> Is Excellent. the only because I am off now. This is somebody else's problem. If nobody else cleans it, this is left for me until Tuesday. Wow. Uh, other than that, uh, on my way home, I've encountered even more graffiti. So everybody remembers Duck, of course. Duck. Um, dicked up, dicked up. When a fucking a Jenny Craig or something because it just <laughs> lost a shit ton of weight. Oh my god, kind of looks like a worm now. Yeah, bit, it yeah. does. <sighs> It looks like a Pokemon. It looks like when they made Fat Pikachu hmm. skinny and it, I, everyone hated it. What if you just gave this duck a pompadour? Oh, this is like fucking skinny Psyduck. Is that real? It, no. Oh. No, it's, it's like, I literally just made it up. <laughs> but speaking of duck, hold yes. on. Will it upload? Hell yeah. Oh, I found another go. one. This one's even closer to my house. Yo. <laughs> I, I think they're like slowly tagging up the neighborhood. That's very good. Uh, I I hope they continue. Please uh, spread the brand of dip ships all over the place. <laughs> I should I'm be taking be my own. Pen. Very upset. Hmm. I'm going to be like absurdly upset if this duck turns out to be like, you know, a hate symbol. Yes. yes. Oh this no! Ends up, come on. <laughs> if it ends up being a literal milkshake duck scenario. Like. What, what is, is that milkshake mean? duck? Um, it is a, a hit tweet on Twitter.com where someone says, Everyone loves milkshake duck, internet's favorite new little guy. Ten minutes later, uh -huh. we regret to inform you all that milkshake duck is racist. No! Oh, no! <laughs> yes. Like, damn. I'm going to be very <laughs> upset if, like, I see on, like, Forbes or something next week, like, new duck swastika. <laughs> God, I oh, hope not. Oh, man. We'll have to rebrand oh, again. Oh, that'd be I was literally I just about to say, what if, what if I grab my own, like, graffiti marker and just write Dipships, the legitimate boating podcast, in the middle of the duck? <laughs> Thank you, but now, but now I'm afraid. Many put the fear of God in me. Please don't be a little chick duck scenario. I'll cry. <sighs> Please do not. Then what about this little guy? This, guy? this little guy was right next to Duck. Oh, that's the autism creature. Oh, is that what this is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I recognized it. <laughs> yeah. This is my oh, yeah. fucking thing. This is my creature. dude. There, yeah, little creature. The little freak when it goes. Yippee! Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Then what about what about this guy? Well, we gotta see him first. You <laughs> <laughs> that block him? You win the win the. And this that's it. Me too. <laughs> I think that's just Jordan. Yeah. Oh shit, that is just Jordan. <laughs> but yeah, the, these these little guys were all just hanging out together. And and on the side Holy of the building. Shit. That's awesome. That's me win so the duck. Good. Yeah, me win the duck. <laughs> the duck. Me win the, win the. That's when the creature gets him. Yeah, that's it. That's me. The creature comes up from behind, going yippee. <laughs> that's Woo! really good. Punches you in the back of the head. All right, I'll yeah. talk about my week. I'm ready. So, do you guys know the the TikTok of a guy walking into? I think it's like a Wendy's or something, and he's just like screaming, "Who made this?" Who made this? And he looks at someone no. behind the counter and is like, did you make this? This is the best thing I've ever eaten. Oh. <laughs> I have uh, not seen that. I, th I thought that was going a different way Me entirely. Too. No, no, I have not seen that. Well, uh, that is a, a TikTok video that exists. And I was sitting at work eating my, my dinner at dinner break. Mm -hmm. And it was just me and Dumpy in the room. Oh, no. And he's sitting there slurping whatever the fuck he was eating, his spaghetti or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, Inhale, spaghetti. And he has his phone propped up with this video playing on a loop, because TikTok doesn't stop after it plays a video. It just keeps it does going. Not. Mm -hmm. And he's watched this video 17 times in a fucking row. <laughs> what the The fuck? Wendy's video? Yeah, it just keeps... It just keeps... Well, he's uh, in the middle why? of eating. Uh, he can't switch videos. He could. And then he's the, he could. He just takes one hand. He just got to swipe up. That's all he's got to do. No, no, no. A slurp. Big slurp. He's doing his big slurp. Eventually, he swipes up to the next video. And he sits on that one for five minutes. God, do you think it takes no. him that long to process it? It might be. Maybe he just likes them that much. He wants to watch them a bunch. <laughs> Maybe. How old is Maybe Dumpy? he's trying to figure out who made that. Man's is like <laughs> in his 50s. What well, is a 50 year old doing on TikTok? That's a really good question. Or is that ageist of me? I, I, don't know just... how to, I don't know how to break this to you, but I got followed, or the, rather the Dipships TikTok got followed by one of my coworkers, and I immediately fucking oh, made no. them unfollow. 
Oh, okay, <laughs> that's the thing you could do. I made them unfollow and removed ad through contacts because that's a thing TikTok has on by default. Oh, yeah. she explains how my okay. sister found it. Um, oh, oh no! <laughs> Just like God, we've talked mad shit about your family. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh my God! That's funny though. That's so terrible. hey, the Game Awards happened. Oh yeah, yeah they, sh- they sure did happen. I would just like <laughs> to donate this award to my... This is probably one of the best Game Awards that's happened. I'll be real, the only thing I know about it is the kid who walked up on stage and got arrested. Yeah. And Shout out to Bill guy. Clinton. It was right at the end. Elden Ring won Game of the Year. And Hell then this yeah. random kid comes up. <laughs> followed them up there on stage. Yeah. It says he'd like to nominate... His reformed Orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. No, for this no, he award. dedicate the award to him. I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my reformed Orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. No, he didn't say dedicate. He said nominate. He said he wanted to nominate him for it. Oh my which god! Is even better because it's the Bill wrong Clinton word entirely. Is game of the year. I. And then, like, a whole bunch of things flew around. People were saying, like, <laughs> this kid was on InfoWars. This kid is, like, an anti-Semite. He's just a 15-year-old school kid who no one knows about. I, I don't know what's true and what's not. I just know this kid ran up there and said this. And Miyazaki's face, one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I've seen so many images where it looks like he's about to bludgeon this kid with his award. Oh, oh I pee. I was. It's really <laughs> funny. Like, this was my moment, and this guy just shows up. Like, just... Look at look it, at the uh, motherfucker's face back though. <laughs> He's just like, yeah. I could do it. It's 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 two things. One, it's incredibly funny, but also two, it's incredibly scary because this is this is the best case scenario where just yeah. a random yeah. funny thing happens and not like a random very scary very well, like, uh, hideous it was a random very anti-Semitic thing. I saw people talking about this and they were basically so confused as to how it happened because their security was actually crazy. Yeah. Like, to get in, the security was crazy, but once in, I guess they just stopped giving a shit, because he just kind of acted like he belonged and walked up with the Elden Ring people. And he was, like, right. patting people on the back, just being like, good job, good job. Yeah, like, yeah. The thing that sucks is that that is kind of just how that works. Yeah. Like, that's just kind of how... I, I cannot <sighs> tell you how many places I've gotten into, the places where I should not have been in. By and just I, acting like you belong. Just pretending like you belong there. Yeah, yeah when you have the confidence, it works. It really so works. So many more times than you would think. It is. It's literally all of it. Uh, because let's be real. Need. If you're walking around looking like you're going somewhere with like a drive, like you have a goal in mind, people that work there are going to be like, "Oh, I don't recognize him, but he knows what's up." Look, you a surefire way to get into anywhere: have a lanyard with some bullshit printed on it yep. and a clipboard. Clipboard. You, you can get yeah. anywhere you ever wanted, no problem. I, uh, and just pretend you're writing shit down. Exactly. I had the regional manager of uh, basically my boss's boss's boss today walk in to one of the back rooms, but he's literally just wearing like jeans and a hoodie and has no Walmart branding on him. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hey, can I help you? What you doing? And he's like, oh, it's me. I'm immediately, like, oh, <laughs> hey, you, you're not wearing anything that identifies you as. Important. Like, belonging to Walmart. And he's like, yeah, that's kind of the point. Good eye. <laughs> and he just walks <laughs> off, and I'm like, I... Can I pass the test? I, I think yeah. I just passed the test. You did. Congratulations, uh, you're not fired. You well, did it. Oh. So, uh, earlier this week, a little, little bit of, a little bit of fortune, uh, I was like, you know what? I need, I need, I need money pretty bad. I'm gonna mm-hmm. sell my Kingdom Hearts 3 PS4 Pro put it on ebay i tweeted about it and then i received a dm okay from one gerard completionist khalil oh hey, shit okay. from one gerard the dragon rider khalil a on dm on, on twitter.com Twitter. that okay. just said keep the ps4 and i was like oh, okay what are you doing bud <laughs> I was like, what are you what are you do, what are you doing what are you doing i then receive an email that says this oh that's hey, so sweet all right, right? And I was like, hey, hey, yo? <laughs> That's so uh, nice. Gerard, dude, are you... I, Carl sent me, like, a, a 
I just received a note from Gerard that says keep the PS4, and I'm like, but you gotta. And then he sent me a picture of the PayPal, and I'm like, oh, (laughs) well, you gotta. (laughs) I guess I gotta. At first, I thought it was a command. I mean, now I see that it is hell. I mean, you don't gotta. He said, if you're still gonna sell it, I'll buy it, but don't sell it now. And I was like, all right, I'll hold it. That's so cool. Holy shit. Right? I love that man. He's one of the best in the business. I watched Friend his, of the uh, channel. Yeah, right. Friend of the channel, Gerard, please come on our podcast. <laughs> while, while, while that he can do that oh, while yeah. being unemployed, right? <laughs> Didn't he get fired for fucking G4 not that long ago? It's that G4 kind of stopped existing again. It's that everyone who worked at G4 woke up and saw, oh, we, we don't work there anymore. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean G4? That's right. What do you I mean? remember, like, I want to say a week before that, I I talked to, I was talking to you, Carl, and I'm like, whatever happened with Gerard and G4? Does G4 still exist? Well. And then, like, two days later, Gerard's <laughs> just like, I guess I'm fired. Yeah, like, I guess I'm, I guess <laughs> and I'm like, ha ha. She's like, hey, this is how I found out. And I was like, oh. And it's like, okay, okay, like ha ha, but also it's not funny, but also, <laughs> we We clearly got a... We gotta stop talking, because whenever we talk, <laughs> shit just kind of implodes all around us. Yeah. Whenever we talk about a specific thing, that specific thing ceases to exist within yeah. a week. While that Yu-Gi-Oh! is still uh, continuing, uh, despite right. how much we've talked about it. Despite Konami's best efforts. I mean... Yeah, kind of. Hey, Yu-Gi-Oh! cannot go anywhere for at least a little bit uh, longer, because the new... Uh, oh, 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 we got new Super Heavy Samurai support. Oh my so god! It's, did we? It's, it's got, yeah, we did. Holy they, shit! They got like two new synchros, two new pendulums, and a bunch of other shit. Huh? That's crazy, right? And hey, they're pretty good. So I also let's see. I got a package a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I'm standing there with Medi, and I'm opening it up. I'm like, "I don't know what the the fuck this thing is." It is a bomb. Unfortunately, it wasn't. <laughs> it was uh this. It's just a little oh. guy. It's just a little lacy on. Okay. Guy. Turns out my uh, friend from middle school, Phil, uh, sent me a little gift. What is it made oh, of? Nice. Oh, let me see. He told me what it was made of. I have to go find it. Crystallized yeah. semen. Probably. <laughs> no. I mean, considering the color. Blue? Probably at least a little bit in there. If no, it's, you or anyone we're calling you know. it love. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Sure, yes. I, oh God, you can never. I could never hear the the statement made with love from now on. Without <laughs> thinking about that. You said it's not glass. I thought it was because the way it sounded might be crystal. Glassion. It is a crystal of some kind. Okay. That'd be hell of expensive if it's, if it's like actual crystal. Crystal. It's made of an ice stone. Ooh. Blue opalite. Oh. Uh-huh. Wow. Sounds fancy. It's fancy. Right? I was like, oh, it's nice. Pretty. You just chill in there, dude. Can you flip it? Can what do you mean, can I flip it? it? No, flip it. Flip it! It's a gift. What do you mean? I mean, if it's expensive, flip it. Well, you it's need the money. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You can sell this for more than the Bro, PS4. Bro, I cannot, I cannot tell you how no, much not. shit of mine no, that I've sold over the years because, I, hey, I fucking need the money. I guess, yeah. I mean, damn... Like all of my baby jewelry, that because I'm fucking half European, every uh, all all like uh, European adults are like, here, give the baby gold. The baby <laughs> needs gold. Showered in gold. Oh, also uh, frankincense and myrrh. Yeah. Yes. So I've just I, I've sold all of that shit like fucking I want to say like a decade ago, when I needed the cash. Gotta do what yeah, you gotta it do. Yeah, it sucks to sell gifts, but like. What what am I gonna do with a, a a fucking golden frog necklace pendant? I mean, yeah, pretty sure you could wear it. Rock it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna wear a golden frog necklace pendant. Why not? With Why not? a with a workable open mouth and a fucking ruby that sounds eye. That's sick as shit. Are you kidding yeah, me? That sounds rad as fuck. That actually yeah, sounds. Yeah, and like guess what? Cursed. I had no need for it. It was sitting in a box. So you I could have been wearing it all this it. fucking time. I don't sure. care about frogs. I do not give a flying <laughs> whoa, fuck whoa, whoa. about frogs. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, you're going to be regretting that when the frogs take over. Yeah, not cool. <sighs> so it's the concerts though, have been did. happening at, at uh, my job. The winter Wait, concerts. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we've had to go in a couple days early. I've put in uh, 12 hours of overtime this week alone. Hell yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's bad on the body, but good for the wallet. Uh-huh. 
uh, and, uh, the PS4. They got us. So here's the thing, because they just redid our gym floors. Sure. So they're like, we don't want you guys ruining the the brand new gym floors with the chairs that you have to set up. So what they did was they bought these like this big thing that just has a bunch of mats on it. These really sure. thin, shitty feeling mats that we have to roll out every night. Mm-hmm. There's a concert across the gym floor in sections right. to put that the chairs sounds on. Awful. It is terrible because they are just tacky enough where we can't sweep them. Is this just oh. like? This sounds like a coaster for chairs. Mm-hmm. Kind just of. About, yeah. Can, can you can you vacuum them at least? Uh, we've been taking the uh, leaf blower and just blowing the shit off of it. Oh, okay, yeah, that 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 works. That's, that's easier. Shit, fair enough, I guess. But it's like. You know, because it's the fucking concert for all of the schools. Elementary school kids come in and they have their fucking juice and they spill it all over. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, this sucks. Yeah, make it even more sticky. And all the gum, because Lord knows that gum belongs nowhere else besides the fucking floor. Yep. Right. Yep. I love it. It's so cool. But other than all that garbage, I watched uh, an anime. What did you Ooh, watch? Anime? I watched uh, Bochi the Rock. I've heard of it. I, I know nothing I, about it. I know nothing about the show except for that one clip of the chick lying on the floor screaming. <laughs> such a good clip. What? Might as well link the clip so fucking so that Nick can see it. Oh, do I just have it downloaded? Let's see. I mean, just post your tweet. Yeah, that means I gotta switch accounts back over again. Post this tweet. <laughs> Repost this screen. Copy. It's a very good tweet. Okay. You put in notes, but it's fine. Oh. Oh, that's what this show is. We'll put it up in the general also. Yeah. Okay, I have seen this specific scene. So, uh, this series is about this girl who in middle school was like, I'm gonna learn guitar, and I'm gonna be in a band, and I'm gonna have a lot of friends that'll all talk to me. And then she ends up as a first year in high school, and she has no friends. She basically lives in her closet. She's mastered guitar. She has a huge following online posting videos of her playing guitar, because she's that fucking good. Mm -hmm. No friends. (laughs) No band. Nothing. And then one day this girl approaches her in a park, seeing she has a guitar, and goes, Hey, uh, our singer and guitarist just left. Can you come and join our band? Okay. And she just, like, freezes because she doesn't know how to talk to people. And this girl goes, Okay, good, you're in. <laughs> and just drags her. <laughs> and Perfect. she just ends up in a band. And they just perform and shit. And yeah, this I one did just, not hear a no. I yeah, love this chaos. one just sort of falls over and dies a lot. And it's very funny. <laughs> Me too, bitch. She has a lot of really, like, good moments. There's, like, a moment where, uh, it sounds like they're starting to bomb on stage. They're not playing as well as they could. And she just goes into the sickest, like, fucking minute-long guitar solo out of <laughs> fucking nowhere. And it's like, what the fuck? It's really good. Hell yeah. But there's something I noticed while watching the show. Go Didn't on. Didn't show, like, pump fake you, like, t- like three times to the yeah. thinking that <laughs> it's the end of the show? <laughs> yeah, it did. If you look up in that thread, it had at least three different moments where it was like, that's the end of the series. The first one, it actually cut to credits. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the first one, it actually went straight to credit, and it was like, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, that's awesome. Get pranked. Don't How the long second is one, this? it just showed this illustration. It says, thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> it's, it's it's really good. It's a very good comedy series. God. But I noticed something while I was watching through. It's like uh, currently 10 episodes. Okay. So this is like currently airing? Yeah. Okay. I noticed when I got to episode 8 that the ninth episode was called Enoshima Esker. And I went, okay. that's the name of an Asian Kung Fu Generation song. Are uh-huh. all of these episode titles Japanese rock song titles? I mean... So I went back and looked at them. There's Lonely Rolling Bochi, See You Tomorrow, Be Right There, Jumping Girls, Flightless Fish, Eight Views, To Your yeah. House, Bochi yeah. the Rock, Enoshima Esker, After Dark. Well... <sighs> So looked, yes, then. Now I looked at Flightless Fish and I went, "Isn't there an Asian Kung Fu Generation song called that?" Sure enough, there is Uh-oh. a song by them called Flightless Fish. And then I saw After Dark and I was like, "Are these all just Asian Kung Fu Generation song titles?" <laughs> and Holy then someone shit. on Twitter made it just a little better by going, "Hey, you should look at their names and the names of the band members in Asian Kung Fu Generation." Are you fucking kidding me? Goto, Ijicha, uh, Ijichi. Yamada, Kita. Holy shit. Yeah, that's just... Okay, so this is like a fucking love letter to, Asian to this Kung band. Asian Generation. Okay. It is a love letter series to Asian Kung Fu Generation, and I 
fucking love it because it's one of my favorite bands. Yeah, that's really good. This is, I was like, oh, you've got to be fucking, that's so good. Because I was looking at this before and I was like, is See You Tomorrow supposed to be that one song they used to that Naruto movie? And it is. <laughs> Oh. I was like, are you fucking serious? God. Now, question. Yes. Is fuck. any of their music in this anime at all? No. <laughs> so it's just a love letter. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, there shit. You go. Uh, sorry, I have to. Um, my uh, my computer just uh had a fucky wucky. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. So I don't know if my audio track desynced. Uh oh. So uh, sorry, Misha. <laughs> Misha's just in the corner like the cat in the hat and that one image got the bat ready. Yes, exactly. Hi, B. Uh, can't believe this. Can't believe you've done this. Unless it's fine, in which case, yeah. Yippee! <laughs> in which case, they put the bat away. Your computer good? Yeah. Well, right. hopefully. Yeah, we'll take it. But I, yeah. I think that was pretty much everything for my week. Yeah. Uh, my week was about as short as PMs. I didn't do that much. I, uh watched i also watched an anime you said boshi the rock is 10 episodes yeah currently uh the one i watched is six and it is complete mm -hmm. it only took me about like two and a half hours to finish this show it's mm -hmm. that new dragon age thing that just hit netflix oh yes i've, I've yeah. seen it <laughs> uh dragon age absolution it's um okay it doesn't uh, do anything okay. like cyberpunk or arcane does mm-hmm it feels like a slightly, I don't know, I'll say it's kind of in line with Dragon's Blood. So it's fine. Nothing really. What is Dragon's Blood? It's a Dota Netflix series. Oh, gross. It's fine. I liked it. Does some weird shit. The animation in this show is really fucking cool, though. And they get to play with it a lot because they have magic and uh, the main character they chose uses, like, two daggers that have piano wire connecting them. Oh, yeah. Oh, so he slices and dices. He does. Okay. And chokes out and boomerangs and she's cool. Uh, the show is also incredibly gay. Oh, uh, yeah. Suddenly interested. Uh, two of the main characters are lesbians and another two uh, end up together by the end of the show. They're just outright gay. Good times. Oh, nice. Um, I just didn't expect it to be so short. I was watching it and it was ramping up and I was like, God damn, how many episodes do I have left? One. Oh. Six 20-ish minute episodes is this whole show. Well, Castlevania was also short at the beginning. That's Wasn't true. It, also it was like also six super fucking good. Yeah. It, it, I, I say it's do, it's uh, it'll do its job, though. It made me like reinstall and play Dragon Age for a day. Which one? Uh, Origins. Gross. I, listen, I can't play Inquisitions for a whole day. I remember the combat, and then I stop. Oh, I mean... Uh-huh. I also watched a movie. Right doesn't mean. Yeah, I know. I also watched a movie that was way better than Absolution and way better than I expected it to be at all ever. Because they also put Bullet Train on Netflix. Oh, okay. True. The, the premise of this, in as simple a terms as I can put it, is that uh, a dude is hired to steal a briefcase from a train, and then it turns out getting off the train is incredibly difficult. Yeah, go figure. That's it. Uh, it's like two hours ish, give or take. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry, that's just such a... Yeah. Turns out, getting off trains while they're moving, really hard. No, just like even when the train is stopped and you're at the station, hard. Not going to tell you why. Wait, even um, at the station? When yep. it's, like, stopped? Yep. Dude with a gun. Oh, First dude I mean, has a knife, yeah, but <laughs> there's a lot of stops and a lot of dudes. Fair enough. It's a, it's a really good action comedy. I recommend it. It's fun as hell. Who's I feel like if I had watched it drunk, I would have lost my mind. What were you saying, PM? Anybody notable in it? Uh, so Brad Pitt is the lead. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I, that's notable. <laughs> um, Ryan Reynolds is in this movie for literally one scene. Uh, there's a bunch of people that I don't immediately recognize. I know that one of the uh, people involved is Bad Baby. Uh, I don't remember the name of the actor who plays the main villain, but there's just a ton of famous people in this movie. Isn't Bad Baby the Cash Me Outside girl? It's a dude. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> well, how about that? Yeah. Yeah, good movie. A lot of famous people. Uh, it's just funny. It, it's a good watch. And that's really all I did. I've been trying to keep up on everything, and I keep falling behind. 
but I'm still current with like you know my hero and Chainsaw Man and God fucking damn it is Chainsaw Man cool holy shit yeah so good. holy yeah. shit um I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a small spoiler warning for the next I'll say twenty seconds for me at least mm-hmm. anyone anyone here care F- uh, for what exactly uh a particular scene that spoils a power in Chainsaw Man. I'm taking off my headphones. Go ahead. Okay, 20 seconds. Uh, Pop it! Fucking Makima is really out here doing the perfect impression of looking at someone really far away so they look like an ant and squishing them with your fingers. <laughs> it's so fucking cool. Holy shit. Yeah, that's that's actually just what a doopy in <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That Monty Python sketch. <laughs> I am crushing your head. I am crushing exactly. your head. It's so cool. Uh, PM can come back now. <laughs> oh. Um, oh my god. Yeah, good Whatever times. it was, it was funny. I could hear you laughing. Yeah. Good. I'm very really excited for the uh, the season to like end out, basically, because once it does, I'm hopping into the manga. Which, uh, I don't remember if I said this last time, but I also started reading Steel Ball Run once I finished part six, because I wanted like like good JoJo to filter that out. Uh, and it's been great so far. There have been, uh, not too terribly far, there have only been a couple fights, but all of them have been good. And basically every character is fucking insane, and I love that for them. Yeah, that's that's just JoJo. Yeah, yeah that's just JoJo now. Yeah. Well, to be fair, was anything never not crazy? I assumed, uh, like, even, even part one had crazy in it. Even part one did have crazy. Because you had... Like, Dio was, like, out there, but not, like, crazy, crazy, like he is in part three. I mean, and he then did, like, there's... cook a dog and become a vampire. Yeah, but that's, like... Listen, who hasn't thrown away their identity despite their half-brother, their adopted family, who's only ever treated them kindly? <laughs> it's a short list. And then there was, um, oh god, what's his name? Speedwagon? Speedwagon Speedwagon. was kind of fucking bonkers when he was introduced. Robert Edward Orville Speedwagon. Yeah. Do you know anything about uh, Steel Ball Run? Uh, Wow. Steel Ball Run? Nah, nothing. I know there's horses. There's horses. Um, So, do you you, you know that it's like a a different everything? Like, it's not continued from part six? Yes, yes, I am. Or related to that at all. So, it's funny to see characters referenced like there is an avidol it is not avidol but they are called avidol there is a strawheim there is a new zapelli there's I, obviously a, a new jojo up? isn't yeah. avidol a little fucked up yeah yeah not, not for uh not for any like reasons that you're thinking like avidol's not fucked up because like he's evil or avidol's not fucked up he's fucked up because it's a horse race and he's on a camel yeah oh it's a it's a little racist. It's a little <laughs> fucked up. A little bit, yeah. But it's, overall, it's, it's been funny. a good read so far. Like Av- Avdal always like fascinated me because mm-hmm. out of like the core group, Avdal seemed like the most grounded character. In, right. Like in reality, he seemed like the most quote unquote normal. And then spoilers when he quote unquote died and then came back, he just became another fucking bonkers member of the crew. <laughs> he just got he weird. came back. He came back fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, me too, buddy. Yes, I am. I love that for him, honestly. What with me pulling the rest <laughs> as they piss into a man's breathing yeah. tube. Let's drown a man with our pearls. When when fucking him and uh, Joseph had to fight uh, Mariah Carey, and and they were like fucking pinned to each other and looked like they were fucking in in front of a bunch of kids, I had me pissing myself laughing. It was so fucking funny. I when fucking love that episode. The straight man gives up on being the straight man and just embraces the fucking stupid payoff. Right? He's like, "This is my lot. I might as well fucking go with them." It's like, well, it, everyone else is like this. It might as well. All right. Might as well do it too. God, when I fucking Rome, love part. God, I we're fucking love part three so much. Part three so fucking good. It's it's it, it's it's gone. I'm not gonna say downhill, uh-huh. but it's never been as good as part three. I feel like part three has. A very long middle bit where it really starts to fall off. The issue with part three is that it's where Stan started, so they didn't have a good grasp of what the fuck they are and do. That too. Yeah. But the thing is, a lot of them they... do nothing. They're just there to punch. Like, but... his, his own rules weren't very defined yet. 
Yeah. But they all, they're all like that. They they all like, now they have an extra thing, but in the background, besides that extra thing, what do they do? They punch. They're punch ghosts. Well, yeah. <laughs> they're punch or stab ghosts. I That's like it. the term punch ghosts. And yeah. then, and then they have this extra added bit where it's like, Oh, I can make you shit through your toes. Because that's, yeah, that makes sense. Whatever. <laughs> Very funny that that was what you chose as an example, considering the shit through your toes stand ability. Did the PM shit through his toes recently and I just was not being told? <laughs> no, no. Is this is this another gaslighting bit? Don't worry about it. Bit? Okay, cool. But yeah, part four is my favorite. Yeah, because it's like, part four was good. It just, I wish there was more. It uh, Compared to part three... Like, uh, part four wasn't an, ad an adventure. It was a murder mystery. Yeah. And then part five came along, and it was back to the, the good old adventure, but it was bad. It was written poorly. It's just shit. It had good characters, some good characters, but otherwise it was shit. Yeah. And then six, uh, I'm not done six, but so far it's been an improvement. It's especially the fucking part five, good lord. Like, I, I never thought a, a new part of JoJo would exist that went down past one. Mm -hmm. And and the only reason one is at the bottom of my list, or was at the bottom of my list, is because it it, it was the origins. It was the beginning. It was, like, bare bones. Yeah. yeah. Isn't uh, it, like, and, I haven't watched it in a bit, but it's only, like, six or seven episodes, right? The very, very no, first part? No, no, no. It's Like, way leading into that. battle tendency? It's a little no, more I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's longer than that. I, don't know, I remember it's being, like, like crazy like fast-paced, and yeah, it goes it, by super fast. I mean, part one was crazy fast-paced. Like, as a whole. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, then part five came out and just kind of shit the bed with great characters in it. Uh, so that's why it's now at the bottom of my list. Uh, it's funny because when I watched part five, I was like, this is leagues better than reading it. God, the manga sucked. They improved very, the very. fucking anime so much. It's pretty well, I'm excited for the potential future, considering everyone I've heard talk about part seven loves it to death. And so far, me too. I look forward to it coming out in 2024. <laughs> yeah, in a couple years. Hell, maybe yeah, even that, 25 That's basically all for my week. God damn, I did nothing. Played a lot Big of card segment. games. That's it. All right, Matty. What do you I'm got? I'm gonna scream. All yeah. right. <laughs> okay, so uh, tube. No, tube. Tube is old. Tube is tube. Tube. Is good boy. That's good. That's good. Uh, all right. So I'm scared. <laughs> all right. Uh, my first note on the seventh is, oh shit, I have work. <laughs> Cause uh, I woke up uh at the same time I always wake up. Right? And I'm laying in bed, and I'm like, I don't have to go into work until, like, 1. And I'm just sitting there vibing, and I'm all happy, because, you know, I don't have to go into work until 1. Bed is warm, bed is life, bed is love. Fucking around okay. on my phone, and uh, I see one of the messages says, uh, your, sh uh, your assigned shift on the 7th has been changed. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, no. So I open up uh, the, the app, and uh, it says... Oh, yeah, your shift starts at 10. I thought it started at 1. So oh. your shift starts at 10. Oh, no. So I look at that, and then I look at the top right corner of my phone where the clock is, and it says 10. And I, uh, <laughs> uh oh. God. So I, like, fucking bolt, like, equip pants out of inventory, out the door, <laughs> like, uh, and I make it to work at, like, 10.30, and I'm like, can't be fucking changing my shift like, the night before. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, when did that message come in? It, it, my shift was changed, like, the day before. I, apparently, I'm not the only person it happened to. Oh, uh, okay. Um, alright, so then, uh, later, in the, uh, later in the week, and by later, I mean the very next day. Seven uh, hours. Yes, pretty much. Uh, me and a, a co-worker have, uh, a lunch break at the same time, right? Mm-hmm. Or rather, I have my lunch break, and my coworker is off the clock. And he was sitting there watching this TikTok uh, about Wendy's. Uh, and he's like, hey, I, I got some errands to do. Uh, they should take about 40 minutes. Uh, you're on lunch. Could I borrow your car? Oh, hell no. Oh, dear. And I say, you gonna put gas in the tank? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. You gonna buy me lunch? Yeah. Cool. So I, uh, I sit in the back of my car and I toss him my keys, almost in that order. Uh-huh. And I'm like, McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's. 
God damn it. And then I just kind of take a nap. Did sure. Right? I, cool. I eat my I eat my uh my fast food and I take a nap and I'm like, wait, wake me up when we're back at the store and I have to clock back in. Uh-huh. So I'm I'm like I'm dozing off. I'm not really paying any attention. And I, I feel someone like shake me awake. And I'm like, what? I, I got pulled over. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I was oh what the God. fuck? Okay, what do you want me to do about it? But it's your car. I'm not the driver. <laughs> so I, I just continue to like pretend to sleep mm. in the back seat. <laughs> Holy right. shit. And the the cop is like, you okay? And I'm like, I gotta go back to work in, like, 20 minutes. I'm fine. <laughs> like, oh, whose car is this? Mine. Why aren't you driving? I'm taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is he driving? He had stuff to do. All right, were, were you aware of how reckless he was being? No, I was taking a nap. <laughs> and he's, like, the officer uh, takes his uh, license and stuff, and he's just being, like, Extra courteous because you know uh, the officer's white, uh-huh. and my coworker isn't. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I can't believe you just like talked like that to a police officer. <laughs> and I look at my hand, and then I look at him, and I look at my hand. I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> now come on, Maddie, your privilege is showing. You can't do that. Yes, exactly. I'm like, you can wield it. You're as the a one weapon. who has to be extra nice to cops. I just have to not drive away from them most time. <laughs> God, especially because oh, oh. I true, can't. Though. Yeah, but like, he's like, well, what? What? What about if like we get a ticket? What about if you get a ticket? Yeah. What if you're you, driving? What if you get a ticket. You're the one driving, asshole. So, uh, the cop hits him with like speeding, improper merging, reckless endangerment, Oof, like four Jesus different things. Christ. And he's got a court date. And he's like, oh man, is everything gonna be okay? It's like, cause it's your car. And I'm like, do you see my name anywhere on this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it, it, it's your car. This piece yeah. of paper doesn't even say Medi once. Yeah, it doesn't say Medi. It, it says my license plate number, but if they pull me over and it's not you driving, then they'll be like, ah, I see that you're white. Have a good day. God. It's fucked up to say, but it's... You know. <sighs> yeah, we're not and a I'm, great country. America. I'm just like, yay. yay. Yeah. So then that very same night, because uh, I was closing that night. And then you got pulled over by the cop. That'd be very funny if it was the same cop, even. <laughs> like, ah, I see you're white. Have a good day. No. Uh, so uh, I was closing alone for some reason. I love this creepy right? pasta. Yes. The the creepy pasta of, uh... well, we'll get there. I was closing alone. <laughs> And this dumb bitch, uh, so you, you know how, uh, most stores, they have, uh, the general manager, a uh, bunch of assistant managers, and then whatever you call the assistant assistant managers, like area leads or yada, yada, yada. Sure. Right? Oh, I was going to go with Jason, but sure. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, Walmart has the manager, then coaches are the assistant managers, and then team leads for the, the player in between regular associate and uh, assistant manager. I so don't like that you have coaches. Yeah, me neither. Um, so the coach of loss prevention, he walks okay. up to me, and he starts mansplaining my own job at me, and I'm like, yeah, sure, buddy. Alright. I'm I'm busy. Do you need me? Well, just, you know, uh, uh, like, you gotta get everything done. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get, like, everything done. Uh, the only thing that we're not doing tonight is uh the cancellations because we're gonna do that first thing tomorrow morning but that's not you have to get cancellations done right now i was told by my manager that i don't have to do them tonight because i'm alone you see because it's only me Mm -hmm. it's only you yeah it's only me so i was told that we're doing them first thing tomorrow morning oh (laughs) well it's got to get done so you got to do it tonight then you killed him and i said all right, you know what? I understand. You're not used to being the closing manager. I didn't say that part out loud to him, but that's <laughs> what I was thinking. You know, I'm like, all right, he's stressed. He's not used to closing. His job is watching the cameras and then not arresting shoplifters, just uh-huh. ignoring shoplifters 
and all the fights and stuff that happen in Walmart. That's his job, just ignoring of everything. Of course, of course. Oh, well, of course. So yeah, what tracks. else is he going to do? So for him to be like told, hey, you're the, the assistant manager in charge of the, the entire store for the night. I understand. That's a lot of pressure for this idiot. So I'm Poor like, Jason. all right, fine. So I, I'm like, okay, sure. I'll do my best. <sighs> and he's like, well, it's got to get done. I'm like, yeah, I'll do my best. I'll do my best to get it done. I'll do my best. Mm-hmm. Then, like, he... So you know how, like, when some people get mad, their face actually turns red? Yeah. That, like, cartoonish, like, cherry red. I and hate that. That's not the laughed. right answer! And then he stomps away from me like a toddler having a tantrum. Oh, I really would have laughed. That's so bad. It was very hard not to. The problem is that, like, uh, he is on the level directly below the store manager, right? Uh-huh. He is the, like, the loss prevention, the asset protection manager. The one in charge of it for the store. And part of me is, like, totally want to ask, like, his underlings for the video <laughs> of that. Because, funny. But also, like... We could put it to music. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm. All right. So I warn, uh... My uh my boss about it, and I'm like, apparently it. I'll do my best is not the right answer, and she's like, yeah, just ignore him. It's okay. <laughs> God. And then mm -hmm. the amount of power politics, petty power politics at a Walmart oh, no, no, is no. very funny. I got it done too. <laughs> I was like, I I was very surprised I got it all done, but I got it all done uh -huh. with like five minutes to spare before I clock out. We take that. And I was like, yeah, rad. All right, I got it all done. You know, uh, and then the very next day I start getting, like, texts. Like, uh, I, I, I get a text that's, um... You'll get there. I'm sorry, I'm trying to just... Find a know. text. Oh, no, my phone won't turn on. For some oh. reason, I'm gonna get there at the end. Oh, okay. this is the shit icing on the shit cake now. Oh. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm trying. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, I get the phone call, or not the phone call, the, the texts that are like, uh, hey... So, team meeting. I'm like, haha, I'm not there. <laughs> Alright, so everyone knows that if you don't go to lunch exactly on time, they'll get you. I, I re personally received a talking to about my team's attitude. This is, this is, like, my manager. Yeah. Who is the step below this motherfucker. And yada yada yada, and I'm like, fucking, oh no, here we go. Because they, they've been looking for, like, excuses, and they're trying to fire people for some fucking reason lately, and I'm like, mm -hmm. so not only is it my ass on the chopping block, but because she got the talking to, like, the big talking to, uh, like, how many people in my department are they going to get rid of? No one wants to work, by the way. Yes, yeah, right. no one wants Shut to work. Can't imagine why. Never mind so my I, job application history. I go inside today, or I go and work today, and uh, there's a board. With very clearly listed uh, what everyone is going to be doing. Uh, exactly the time you're supposed to go to lunch. Um, a note that says, uh, if you take more than two 15s, you will get coached. You will be timed. 15 minute uh, breaks that are not your lunch. Mm. Uh, and I'm like, ha ha, uh oh. <laughs> uh, a coaching is the uh, like final warning talking to before you're fired, by the way. <laughs> Very funny that they call it they, that. They call it a coaching, yeah. I'll call it a manslaughter. Because my team lead got coached. And, <laughs> yeah, and it's like, oh. And there's a uh, checklist now that you have to fill out and sign when you're closing of uh, Fucking everything you cleaned. And if you don't clean everything uh, and make sure all the cancellations are done and sign it with your name when you close... It's a coaching, and and I'm like, God, I couldn't work at a Walmart. I would simply kill. No, I'm sitting there like, this is all because he just had a fucking hissy fit because I didn't, like, bow down and kiss his limp dick and say, oh, yes, sir, I'll get it all done right away, sir, and said, said yeah, I'll try. You got yeah. it, I'll do my best. It's all because I said I'll do my best and not because I, like, got on one knee and started sucking a man off. Like, so... I think the worst question. part is that you even still did it. Like, it was done. Yeah. Yeah, you got it done. You did your best. And hey, you did your best. Yeah, you your fucking best. Yeah, I did. Shit. I did. So, 
quick question. Might be a stupid one. Is Walmart unionized? <laughs> no. We don't do no. that here in America no. that often. Okay. No, uh, unions are bad, you see, because they get in, they get in the way right. of the uh, sacred relationship between the employee and the employer. Mm-hmm. So you can't strike that. Fine. Next Listen, question. Listen, even if you could strike, the government would say your strike is illegal. Uh, just like all the rail workers. I'm still right. mad about that. <laughs> Don't okay. worry. So are the so, rail workers. Good. So you can't strike. Do you have an HR department? HR yes. departments and non-union businesses don't do a whole lot for you. They're uh, mostly no, there to fine. protect the employer. Yes, I uh, I put in harassment reports, uh, but I was told that uh, he was not harassing me, despite the fact that uh, he had his cronies follow me around literally all day the last few days. Um, he's not harassing me, and in fact, uh, he was not uh, rude or uh, improper. Uh, when he talked to me that night, because his tone of voice wasn't rude or improper. How does anybody like, know that? What about his stompies? And I'm like, well, uh, like, he very clearly goes red-faced, screams at me, and stomps away on the camera. How is that not, like, improper? And, like, she looks at me flat out and says, well, he said that the cameras don't show that. And I'm like, what? Yeah, of course he would say that. Would you like to look yourself? She's a I can't look at the cameras, only he can. Oh, oh my oh, fucking I god. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, funny how that works. That he didn't find himself doing any improper conduct, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, funny. I'm working for real. Holy shit. So what you're telling me is you've started looking for a new job. I mean, yes. No, okay, Always. Uh, yes. And now, uh, the shittest icing on the, the poopy cake... Uh, so my uh, Razer Galaxy, or uh, yeah, my, not Razer Galaxy, my Samsung Galaxy 9 broke, like, what, two months ago, three months ago, Carl? Mm-hmm, something like Just that. Just wouldn't turn on. Awesome. Wouldn't turn on, no matter how much I charge it, how many times I mash the power button. And now, uh, Carl's old Razer phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doing the same thing. You know, I thought it was just that I, uh, I let the battery die, because I did. It was, like, at 5% when I got home, and I didn't throw it on the charger right away. Sure. I've had it on the charger for, uh, how long have we been going? About an hour or so. 17 hours. Yeah, I've had it on the, the charger for about half this time. Mm hmm I'm holding down the power button. Oh. Oh. Still not turning on. That's not awesome. Still not turning on. Well. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do it, buddy. No, have faith. Still not turning on! No, the, have faith. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. Have you tried putting a hot towel over it? Is this a real suggestion? I mean... If it works for Xbox. Well, <laughs> I... I'm sorry, not a hot towel, a cold towel. It's not overheating. Have you tried putting it in the microwave? Oh, oh no, no, You're no. right, that does charge phones. Everybody no, out no, there, no. try this out. This one, no. this one neat trick. <laughs> one neat trick. This one neat trick to destroy your home. Have you tried putting it in a bowl of rice? I, isn't that if it gets wet? Or if I it's mean, wet? It is raining. On the inside. Maybe? It doesn't ah. even smell like burned electronics. Like, uh. That is unfortunate. What a good week. I need a phone! <laughs> I can't just not have a phone! You gotta go take the that shit. This was all their plan. Oh no, don't worry. Take their shitty offered phone. Don't worry. Walmart gave me a store phone. Uh, it doesn't have a SIM card. But I guess okay. I'm putting my SIM card in this Walmart store phone. God. Can, can you, does it have games on it? <laughs> yes. I put yeah, Cookie yeah. Run cookie Kingdom news. Clicker on it. Not Cookie Run Clicker. Kingdom cookie Kingdom Clicker Kingdom. on oh. it. Oh. I could put Cookie Run Kingdom on it. Cookie Run Kingdom news. Oh, you should get a new phone instead of just using the Razer phone. I... <sighs> new phones are expensive. They are. Like, really I mean, expensive. I, I think I still have my Samsung Galaxy 7 around somewhere with shit battery life if you want it. That's what I'm literally using right now. I mean... My Galaxy 9 just died, so... Yeah, but you know, the older the phone, the... Yeah, the, the less better. fucked up it is. That's generally yeah. true, you're right. Yeah. Hell, you want to go old school? I still have my Nokia N95 somewhere. I think I, I mean, have shit, those them. things are invincible. You could hunt animals with it. <laughs> Dude, I, I love that Nokia. You could <laughs> It was a slide phone, but you can slide it down and it had all the fucking playback buttons on it. 
I, th- really I think we might be old, guys. We're pretty old, dude. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck, I think I still have my very first cell phone. I have a Nokia flip phone somewhere in this apartment. I will dig out my Blackberry wherever the fuck it is in this room. Jesus. Hello, everyone. This is your captain speaking, just cutting in to do the normal housekeeping and the ads and stuff. Let me tell you all what we've got cooking here. If you'd like to uh, keep up to date with the podcast, keep up to date with our lives and everything, you can follow us on Twitter at DipShipsPod. And each of us individually at the Calamity Carl, at GFPPM, at Metor Man, and at Echo Fetish, E K K O underscore Fetish. If you have any questions or any topics you want to send in, you can send them in to questions at dipships.boats. Send in any questions for us to answer, send in things you want us to talk about with topics. We also have a suggestions thing if you have any suggestions for, uh, for Patreon and content and stuff. Suggestions at dipships.boats. We check those both out. Send things to those. If you can afford to, and you want to help us out financially, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash dipshipspod. Uh, Even a dollar helps, and you get to listen to episodes of Dipships early if you give even just a dollar. Five dollars, you get to watch PM vs. Anime, which is Patreon exclusive. You get to watch uh, episodes of D-Ships, our Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series early. You get to watch episodes of Dipships a day early. And I mean that's pretty much it. You get all those extra, all those extra goodies. A ten dollars a month, you get all that. And also, I get to shout you out during this segment here, which I'm going to do in a second. Uh, Twenty and fifty have just been for like recommending specific things for PMVA for us to to go into. Currently, we're doing Mazinger Z, which was suggested by one of our wonderful patrons. I believe it was by, I think. Well, I gotta check the messages again. Oh nay. No, who was it? Was it Frost Samurai? It was Frost Samurai. I, I thought of Bai because Bai is the most recent person who sent a, sent a message about a thing. Frost Samurai wanted us to watch Shin Mazinger Z, so we're, we're watching that. Or Mazinger Edition Z, The Impact. Same difference, same thing. But uh, we, we started that, and we've been watching that, and it's been fun and good. Uh, I gotta get those, uh, the watch along, the commentary tracks out at some point. I blanked for a second. My mind went blank. Anyway, I'm going to thank our $10 and above patrons with a, vo- a vocal shout out here at this point of the podcast, starting with Altos Diogenes, Bai, Breakdown 707, Bullfrog Jerry, Dorgan 23, Dr. Perpaka, the Purple Paka, Fire Trooper 113, Frost Samurai, Generic Jackal says the next person is cool, Javier Pork Sword, I guess you're cool, Chris Derp, Lordy Fars, Lathander graciously thanks CPU for the luck, Mr. I Like Spam, Nap, Padaru Ultimax, PM Sooth is lost and scared. Ryan Superfan, Christmas Mode, Ramiru Tempest, Scrimbeth. So, this is why they call it the Skeleton Dome. Crossing Fate, Yurameshi Trev, Wimpy the Grizzly Bear, Wabba Wabba, Cyber Dragon Master, even as a beginner Yu Gi Oh player, Zombie Slayer 051, our $20 patron, Mr. Collector, and our $50 patron, Yellow Yandello. Thank you all so very much for the support. It means the world to us, it helps us a lot. Uh, it helps us pay our editors. It helps us pay our bills. It helps with a lot of things, very much so. We appreciate it and thank you. And remember, if you can't afford to give us money, you can just spread the podcast around. Podcast sink or swim based on word of mouth, you know? Let uh, let people know that they should be listening to this, especially on YouTube, where we get ad revenue. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot at all. But it happens sometimes. Speaking of people I like to thank, I'd like to thank Vidazen at underscore v-i-d-a-z-e-n underscore on twitter for our intro song starboard and additional music appetite delight ride of the wave and seaside which are used for different things we have thank you very much sir we love you and your music i'd also like to that was so fucking rude can you shut the shut the fuck up what the fuck's happened stop i'm in the middle of stalking fucked up i'd also like to thank shibuya and Shura, Shibuya Gato and Shura underscore art for our art assets. Shibuya did the logo and Shura did the art, the thumbnail and the uh, avatar that we have on Twitter. I forgot what it was called for a second. And I'd also like to thank our editors, Misha at The Misha and Amazing GGG Guy, both on Twitter for their editing. Misha's been doing the podcast. G's been doing PMVA. Uh, and they've been doing 
fantastic jobs. I love them both. I have another PMVA for you guys soon. It's another part of Mazinger, and you're not going to want to miss it because it's really good. Don't forget that we're also available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and of course the video version on YouTube. I don't know where you're listening, but I know where you're watching because there's only one place to watch. If you watch somewhere else, it's illegal. We're also on TikTok. I put previews on TikTok sometimes and they go up. I've been getting like 200 views. People like them. People like TikTok. It's a thing that exists. It's Dipship's Pod on TikTok. I probably should mention that part. Don't forget to check out uh, the Millennium Microphone, which you're going to hear an ad for soon. And also the Millennium Microphone Master Saga, where me and Shibuya uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh! together. And we like pull packs and duel with those packs. Same thing with D-Ships. The Dipship's Humble Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series, or D-Ships for short. Where me and PM sit down and we get cards and then we duel. And people like watching it. It's been fun to do and we like it a lot. And I hope you all enjoy it. I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, Yeah, that's pretty much everything. So uh, thank you all for listening. Hey, I hope you're all enjoying the episode, and I hope you continue to enjoy the rest of the episode. Hello. If you're listening to this podcast, then you're either a big fan of boats or a big fan of listening to friends goof off for a few hours. Well then, I have excellent news for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Show has plenty of boats. And the Millennium Microphone is a podcast where four friends rewatch the show with boats and also goof off for a few hours every other week. It features that Carl guy that you've been listening to here, along with Shora, Bioroxis, and me, Shibuya Gato. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Podbean. We also have a Patreon to see how many seasons people will force us to watch, so go check that out too at patreon.com slash millennium mic. If, if you don't know how to spell millennium, that's uh, two L's, two N's, and then an M-I-C at the end. Or you could just Google us. I, I guess that works too. See you there. Hey, you guys want some questions? I'll sure, some let's questions. go to some questions. I'm... Lay it on me. Question number one. Does anyone want a new phone? I recently... Question number one. Is, any, is anyone selling a phone? <laughs> If any of you out there have any questions you want to send them, uh, send them to questions at dipships.boats or respond to the tweet put out almost every Sunday. If any of you has any phone. <laughs> what do we asks, uh, PM, what would a raccoon need to do in order to be redeemed in your eyes? Ooh, this is a powerful question. To give me a million dollars on the commit suicide. Hey, PM, why do you have beef with me? I'm just a funny jokester, a silly little guy. You're really gonna have beef with a silly little guy? And on my birthday, too! Are you really gonna be mean to a silly little guy on their birthday? For shame. Wow. wow. Oh, damn, that's fucked up. But does that redeem wow. the raccoons? Yes, or just yes, that, that raccoon? No, it'll redo, uh, redoom, re- redeem redoom. the entire species. Redoom. Okay. Uh, so, okay. so this would be like raccoon Jesus. I yes, see. basically. <laughs> yeah, it, di- it died for the sins of every other raccoon. Holy shit. The 25-year-old redoomer. Redoomer? <laughs> 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 fucking damn it. Oh, damn. Oh, I hate this no. Thing. Oh, I laughed so hard I farted. Oh, God, I wonder if that picked up. What else is new? Yeah, right. Oh, God. Can I even put a SIM card in this? Well, we'll find not. out. Uh, I think we answered this one. Aside since they asked, you can get a weekly free meal for life, but it's only at your least favorite restaurant that didn't poison you. Do you take it? <sighs> that didn't poison me? Oh, zero out of ten. Uh... Can I change the meal? It just has to be from that place? Sure, fine. It has to be from that place. (sighs) No. No, I I don't take it. It's free food, and you don't have to choose it every single day. Do I not? It's an option. Yeah, does it have to be the same meal that poisoned me that one time? Well, they said it didn't poison. No, it it does not poison you. It specifies no poison. Weekly free meal for life. At your, only at your least favorite restaurant that did not poison you. Okay, wait. I actually think I do take this now because that's one meal out of everything I eat that week that is probably guaranteed bad, but it won't kill me. I and can y'all... see the gears working in Nick's head I, right now. I'm just now. like, I really don't... But it's free food and I don't... Like, I need like, money. He's trying to figure this out as hard <laughs> as possible. I'm working through it, man. <laughs> I'm taking it. 
free meal is a free meal. Like, it's I one think that's right. what I have a white woman with the math in front of her. It literally is. <laughs> is it worth the pain? Yeah, I will also take free food. I agree. Yeah, I, I don't think any of us are going to turn it down. We're poor and hungry. Please. Uh, Chills asks, this is going to be a long one. Oh. How good do you guys think your chances are defeating each of the following animals in combat one at a time? <laughs> okay. Jesus First Christ. off, mongoose. Oh, hell no. They're fucking rabid yeah, they're and scrappy vicious. Little shits. Like a one. They, they will tear you apart. Hell no. No you way. Know, We're all... you, do we have weapons? In fact, I'm already dead. No, hand to hand combat. Hand to hand combat? Like, I feel like I could snap a mongoose's neck. I feel like I could snap mine. Not not before it fucking uh, rips out your arteries and yeah, your they're fucking like the legs. the size of a fucking cat. You just snatch it and. Twist. Right, I'll, Dude, give, myself, I'll fucking... give myself a three. They're very they... twisty. What are you talking about? They, they'll they... twist right out of your hand. Exactly. They're like they're basically like sh- like buff ferrets. They will fucking destroy you. <laughs> they are ferrets. buff ferrets. You're Strong very right. noodles. Strong noodles. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with three. Three out of ten. Hell no. Fucking zero out of ten. Yeah, we'll we'll die. Eight out of ten. I'm confident. I can kill it. All right. <laughs> God damn. Next up, ostrich. Do they fight back? They yeah. kick like motherfuckers. Okay, okay. And and they have, like, that neck pecking power. That's true, that's true. I... I think it's a bird. I think I'm gonna have it... to also no. give this a three, but for very different reasons. I'm gonna give myself a five, but it's a gambling five. A <laughs> gambling because, five. Because if, it deci- if its opening move is a kick, then I'm probably fucked. But if its opening move is something to do with its neck... I can probably like grab hold of it. If it's so I'll probably take some damage. But <laughs> yeah, I can. I can fucking. I can probably break its neck. Yeah, I've, okay. I've seen videos of people like wrangling ostriches, and if they have one that's feisty, they just grab it by the neck. Yeah, that's that's so what that's it seems like you would have to do. Pretty confident. I think about that. PM's like right though. If it's a coin flip, if you just get fucking thwacked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, honey badger zero. Yeah, I'm oh, zero yeah, for those are those are worse I'm than out. mongooses. I'm out. Zero. zero. Yeah, zero. <laughs> no way. No way. I'd no. like to live. <laughs> yeah. Don't those things like fuck up lions and shit? They fuck up yes. anything. Uh, next up, a hippopotamus. Nope. Oh, nope. No. Nope. 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 Uh, you mean the deadliest animal on the planet? Yeah, right. I like, gave if... Honey Badger the zero, so hippo has to be a one. Okay. No, I don't know it's how. A negative one. <laughs> I don't know how fast a hippo is, but assuming I'm faster than a hippo, and assuming I have a weapon, I can get to the side of it, and You've then, like... you covered hand-to-hand. Yeah, I know. Okay, you fine. Can't, no. you can't, even if you have a gun, the hides are very thick. I don't think you can yeah. get All right, yes, through them. Oh, right, yes, thick hides also. Yeah, um, no, zero. I don't fucking skis. kill you and eat you. And the last one, 12-foot mantis. Like, like a like big a praying mantis? Big praying mantis. 12-foot 12 12 foot tall praying mantis. Okay, so I've seen Baki. <laughs> so no is yeah, the answer. Too, buddy, it, it, but... is, it is no. Yeah, no, it's a no for me, dog. Yeah, Maybe? this is the one that I'm actually going to have to give the negative one to. Like, it's a bug. Yeah, but it's a big bug. Shut the fuck up. We're the, not the, my phone. The only <laughs> chance of survival is if it decides to mate with me. <laughs> Okay, really now hear me after. out. It, uh, it, deci- yeah, yeah. it decides go, to go. mate with me. I mm-hmm. somehow live, and then because of that, it kills itself. Or no, I, wait. They kill their mate. They yeah. kill their mate. They, they, oh, they okay, mate. no, we're doubly they fucked. They don't kill themselves. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 yeah, we're, we're super fucked. You're just getting, pretend you're you're getting filled now. with eggs and then getting killed. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm done. We're, we're, we're all dead. We could maybe, like, ATST them if we stole some rope from Home Depot. PTSD. <laughs> like tie up their big giant legs and make them fall, but then uh, they still as, have scythe hands. Just as Ag asks, a favorite boat theme slash related dungeon design from an RPG or other video game. Hmm. I don't know how many of those Ooh. exist, bud. There's a lot, honestly. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's lots. Of I think RPGs my favorite is the one stupid. from uh, Super Mario RPG. That's the only one I can think Super of. Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Shush! It has. How opinions. many times do I have to mute you? Enough. The only thing that I can think of is in there we go. uh Wind Waker, where you do that like swinging puzzle. Oh, doesn't Wind like, Waker have a literal challenge. ghost ship? Also, yes, there is the ghost ships. Yeah, but it's not really a, a dungeon per se. Uh, ah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mini a dungeon. Room. That was like three rooms. Can you really call it a mini dungeon if it's a room? It's just a room. I mean, oh, 
that's technically true. Most sex dungeons are just a rip of their dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> no. damn it. Actually fair. Yeah, the Wind Waker Ghost Ship Sex Dungeon is Carl's book. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. Chaos Bug asks, the dipship's crew has been arrested and is serving time in prison. What crime did each member commit to get locked away? <sighs> Arson. Murder. Uh, drug smuggling. Mm -hmm. Reverse double Wilkinson. The reverse Romanian Wilkinson? Yeah, re reverse Romanian Wilkinson. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's yeah, why I'm going lost. to jail. Yeah, you know. It's also they how were I right. died. They were right to put you there. Going away forever, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I died, so. Yeah. Uh, Nocturne November asks, what arc of your favorite series do you wish you could witness in person in that universe? Oh, for, no! <laughs> for example, I'd want to see the entirety of Ennis Lobby in One Piece up close and personal. You I, would die. Alright, yeah, do do I have the guarantee of living? Let's go ahead and say yes. for the, right. the that they said in its entirety. Well, Alright, if I have the guarantee of living, uh, Demon Tournament, Yu Yu Hakusho? If oh, I'm not in the half yeah, of the stands that gets vaporized? Yeah, as long as you're not in, in that like one if part I, of the As stands. long as I'm on the east side of the, the stadium, as long as I'm sitting behind the bad guys, I'm set. Just don't gotta sit on Hakusho. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I'm thinking about this, and the more that I think about this, the more it's a bad idea, but I really want to see All Might uh, United States of Smash all for one. Ooh, that's yeah. a very good <sighs> yeah, choice. A good one. It's just that, like thinking of like where a safe place could be in the middle of that fucking war zone on the it's helicopter like, yeah that probably helicopter up exploded, in the helicopter it? no it just no. got blown away it, it, uh, it ended up being okay. wanted it to show all my dying so he right alone. right like look how fucking weak you are and he was like ow my lumbago See, like, I could say that I want to see a JoJo fight, but since I'm not a stand user, I would just see people posing at each other. Well, no, see it, so okay. then you get a stand. Okay. Not a very good one. It doesn't have to be, as long as I can see what's going on. I, Your uh, stand would be the ability to see stand. <laughs> I would say the entire Luffy versus Kaido fight from start to finish. That is a very good choice. That's pretty good. Especially Kai because anime-only watchers still haven't finished it. Is Kaido the Mochi Man? He's the no. Dragon Man. Mochi. He's the Dragon, oh, the dragon yeah. Man. Mochi Man is a uh, Katakuri. Oh, imagine if that was Kaido's power. Right. Oh, that would be funny. Medi, did you say one? Medi, uh, you went with Dark Tournament. Oh, yes, yeah, Dark I Tournament. With, yeah. Right. I think, okay, here's here's my answer. Um, In one of the seasons of Inazuma 11, they begin <sighs> to time travel. And also I dimension this was about hop. Kids playing soccer. What the fuck it do you is. mean time travel? It still is. They have to go uh, back in time to prevent they, the second stage children of the future from destroying soccer. Yes, and also uh, they play soccer against King Arthur. Yeah, that's literally right? what I'm about to talk about. They ah, play yes. soccer against a team of cyborg androids from the future to save the soul of Master Dragon. And I would like to see that game. I would like to be in the stands. You. Want to go watch soccer? Yeah, but soccer where people fight with like magic powers. Yeah, they they all have stands and shit. Motherfucker, the World Cup is going on right now. Yeah, but nobody right, dies. But you go in the World, World Cup me, has a stand. You're gonna tell me fucking Messi and Ronaldo don't have magic powers? <laughs> have you seen that mango sue? The only thing I've heard about Ronaldo in the past year is that he broke down crying. Good. And he said no to coke. Or whatever, I don't fucking know. Whatever, Portugal lost, so I don't care anymore. <laughs> Tar asks, uh, Fuck you, Morocco. What's Damn. a game that everyone in your friend group says is great, but you have no interest in playing? Stardew Splatoon. Valley. Oof. What was your SPM? Splatoon. That's fair. Also, Final Fantasy same. 14. Fair. Oh, that's another one, yeah. Yeah. Fucking Animal Crossing. Yep. Back All right, now we're getting fucking Osu. <laughs> oh, I remember Osu. Yeah. Like, everyone was like, oh, yeah, Osu. Like, uh, eh, I played it a crap, bit, but game. yeah. All right, but that uh, one video where the dude starts fucking breaking it down. I love that video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so that fucking good. And then his friend just like shows up and they start fucking banging. Well, I shouldn't have phrased um, it that way. <laughs> So I'm saying, right. I think I think okay. you watched a different video. No, no. I'd I... like to watch that video, but I think you watched a different video. It's the same video. <sighs> Daito asks, uh, favorite poster you've ever gotten? Favorite what? Poster. 
Oh, oh I actually still have this hanging up on my closet. It's uh, a... <laughs> From the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh, it's just like Yugi standing there with Dark Magician and then all the other monsters are around him. It's a, it, I mean, it's a shitty poster, but like I got it when Yu-Gi-Oh was coming out and it's still there. Um, I mean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My, my question is kind of, or my, my answer is kind of rude. Mm-hmm. I used to have a poster back in the day of uh, GTA San Andreas. Okay. And it was just the box art. And if you remember, the box art had that lady leaning down with her tongue out and her her clavage out. <laughs> and uh, yep. I think you yeah, saying I've it that had, way makes it worse. I've Clavage. I've I've had uh, I've had many a night staring at the poster alone. Oh my god! <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and say that is my favorite poster <laughs> for. For reasons. <laughs> That's your answer for the memories. <laughs> Bro, that was like basically puberty. Alright. Okay. I was going through it. Okay, dude. Oh my god. That's funny. Everyone my- in the comments, please state you're the first poster you masturbated to. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying it's a first. I'm just saying it was my favorite. <laughs> god. <laughs> that is favorite not better. Poster to masturbate that is not to. better. <laughs> So I got this Tron poster, like the movie poster, and I really liked it. I hung it by my bed. I'd stare at it every now and then when I was really lonely. That uh-huh. one's probably mine. <laughs> I so, the first poster. Is this, Carl like, <laughs> is this 90s Tron or is this yeah, the of remake? Course. Of course it's 90s Tron. You think I give a shit about Tron Legacy? I don't know, man. I mean, yes, at the time it was pretty cool. I, I saw it in it. theaters with Storm and I was just like, that wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Daft Punk was there. Daft Punk was cool. Yeah. I liked extra white David Bowie. I forgot about extra white That's David mean. Bowie. Okay, you're right. So, but so, in my defense, mm-hmm. when when <laughs> you're when, when you're when you're sharing a room with two brothers, uh-huh. you don't really have the opportunity to like whip out like a porno <laughs> or or a porn mag or whatever. So you, you gotta, gotta work you gotta with what you. But also, don't jack off in front of your brothers. <laughs> Not in front. I mean, they're in. No, they're you in do bed it back to back. <laughs> Look, I have decency when I jack off in front of my family, all right? What? I'm, I'm, I'm like, We're I'm like, on! Have a I'm good like, night, everybody. Like my, unlike one of my fucking brothers who jacked oh off, busted God. in my brother's hat, and let him put it on with the fresh bust, with the fresh <laughs> nut. Betty, what's, the, Betty, what's your favorite poster you've got? We cannot. Uh, <laughs> we cannot top that. So there was this really nice one of uh, from Destiny 2 of Oryx, the Taken King. And he's being all menacing in front of a bunch of guardians, and then on the backside, it's Cade Six laying down like a French girl. Check off to it. <laughs> all right, listen, Oryx is a trans icon. <laughs> I mean, you're right. Oh fuck. <sighs> oh. So like three. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Uh, Gamer X asks, uh, "Do you have any opinion on Martin Scorsese's 1973 classic movie Goncharov?" No, no, I don't know what that is. So yeah, I can explain what it is if you care. Are you yeah, fucking I'm pr- for I'm, real? Uh, I'm yeah. pretty sure that's fake. Yeah, I yes, can. Nick is for real. So okay, my opinion on it is that I'm really upset that it's getting popular now when this joke is like a decade old. Yeah, uh, understandable. The explanation of it is that um, uh, a yeah. while back on Tumblr, someone put up, I believe it was a shoe that had a uh, Goncharov on the like the tongue. And someone was like, I'm obsessed with this shoe because it has this, like, apparently completely made up movie by Martin Scorsese. And I don't know, like, why it's on this shoe or whatever. And the only response to it was, this idiot hasn't seen Goncharov. (laughs) 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 And then that was it. That was the joke for years. But then there there was that whole scare about Twitter shutting down because of, you know, you know. Uh, so people started going back to Tumblr for, like, a day and found out about the Goncharov joke and brought it back. Um, I f- Apparently the reasoning is that something about, like, the transference of images from, like, the plate that it has to be manufactured on to the tongue of a shoe <laughs> basically mushed some letters together on what the, like, ripoff shoe was supposed to be. I wasn't expecting to get into this deep of lore of a fake thing. I, I know! <laughs> well, the thing is that I now... Was. Now, in the year of our Lord 2022, there is fan fiction on Archive of Our Own for a movie that doesn't exist. That sounds about right. Also, I, I posted my f- second favorite poster. <laughs> that is a How good poster. How many times did you check out for the Pokemon poster? 
I mean, I mean, I don't know. Have you seen Jinx? She, <laughs> she's kind of doing little pose. Right all right, I'll see y'all later. All right, so I'm a Doss, Muppet, uh, Doss Muppet asks, uh, human DNA splicing is a thing, but you can only get a DNA from an animal that gives you one trait of said animal. <sighs> we'll gain that part of the animal to help with the trait, such as horns if you pick deer. What animal and trait will it be? I want prehensile monkey tail. That's pretty good. Thank you. I want... I want um... <laughs> That's an option! It's I mean, yeah, yeah, that is an option. Well, come on, no hands. <laughs> wait, wait. No, please it... don't show your mother that. <laughs> so, is it a furry tail or is it fucking like flesh? I, I hope feel it would like... be covered in hair. Yeah, I feel like it's covered in hair. I feel like it would basically be like another. It would be counted like as part of body hair. Okay. It'd be like a Son Goku tail. Yeah. Sure, right. sure, sure, sure. Wait, are, are we like volunteering what kind of fursona? We'd have like what? no, it's just no, one you, part. That no, you get. Yeah, pick an why. animal. You you gain you gain a trait from said animal, and if that animal so happens to have like horns or whatever a tail, then yeah, you get that. I'd like to be cocaine bear. You know, well, I, I mean, don't think the cocaine is a part of his genetics, but with how much he ate, it fucking might be. Um, I want to run fast. I want to be a cheetah. Give me a cheetah. Fair. You are Dude, a pretty big cheetah. Honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. If we had like the sprinting speed of a cheetah plus the stamina that humanity has, we'd be fucking terrifying. Mm-hmm. Yep. I I want to swim fast, Mako Shark. That's also fair. Uh, let's <laughs> see what other ones we got. Lalo asks. I uh, recently finished watching the Ducktales reboot series. What's hey. a show in the last decade that came out that you know for sure you would have been the biggest fan of had you grown up watching it? Stuff like Avatar, Teen Titans, Yu-Gi-Oh, etc. Um. I mean, the stuff that I'm watching currently, like fucking uh, Probably a, a JoJo, My Hero, uh, fucking Demon Slayer. That's true. If it had come out, I probably yeah. would have been just as into it now or then as I am now. If you're talking about like a newer thing. I'm trying to think. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember the name of the fucking show. I think it's I gotta Owl go House. I got to Liquid. Please keep answering. Owl House is very good. Yeah, I think if that came out when I was a kid, I would have really fucking loved it. Same. Oh, B- Baki. Especially given how gay it is. Yeah, Baki's also very good, uh, but, but especially like, given I, how gay I, it is. I I never watched the the old school Baki before uh, Netflix got a Me hand neither. on it. So if I had watched like the old school stuff, like uh, back when it was out when I was younger, I would have definitely <laughs> been like a major. Fa- I'm I'm a fan of it now, but I'm 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 not gonna go back to watch like the hyper old shit. Yeah, but I definitely would have been a fan and more hyped once the new shit came out. And. uh I might as well keep answering while Carl's fucking spraying. Yeah, we got, we got. Did Medi get a get a show in there? Uh, I mean, Owl oh, House. Um, <laughs> That's fair. I mean, you can also say Owl House. Carl, this is help. Carl. Why did you say help? What's wrong, buddy? What happened? He's he's fucking. He he turned on the faucet it and it burns. No. Look, bud. You gotta take you gotta take a roll of toilet paper while you're like this. You gotta take a roll of toilet paper, put it in the fridge. What? Either that or Big get, get uh, either that or get, uh, get some wipes. What do you mean? He's going pee. He said. Oh, I thought he was shitting. No, no, he's shitting right now. It's not burning while he pees. Oh, he okay, doesn't have a bad, UTI. Then. Okay, he is shitting. Okay. <laughs> also, yes, put a roll of toilet paper. Uh, fine, don't put it in the freezer. Put it in the fridge. Put him. Uh, put it in the bottom part. Put it next to the fucking uh, the the lemons. That is where toilet paper goes. Don't so that way they're lemony fresh. Oh, no, I bet the bottom part. No, obviously put fucking. Uh, make sure the lemons are in a bag, so you know no citrus runoff is is touching your lemons or your toilet paper. Oh. So that way it's nice and cool. Either that or get fucking baby wipes. Fair I enough. have been ruined. Yeah, I recently discovered the joys of baby wipes. <laughs> Go on. I found I found a in, in at work just a full unopened pack of baby wipes uh-huh at the baby changing station well and, and i'm like flushables yeah, th- these are important. not flushables unfortunately but i have been flushing them and i don't care <laughs> I, I i don't know why they're not flushable but they haven't clogged my toilet I i'm mean, only using like one at a time you're moving out anyway exactly i'm moving out anyway i don't <laughs> give a shit um so i i cannot I don't think it matters if you don't have a septic tank i i no longer care about not having baby wipes 
I mean, I, 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 I cannot live without baby wipes, is what I meant to say. Okay, you said two very different things. Just yes, <laughs> I, I know. I got, I got confused. I was seeing something <laughs> scrolling across my screen, and I confused myself. Fair but enough. But yeah, I, I can no longer live without baby wipes. They are fantastic. I feel like a, mi- a minty coolness, <laughs> which I, nothing on the package uh. says that they're mint scented, <laughs> but for some reason I feel minty when I wipe. Oh yeah, I mean, God. if they're mentholated. I probably. Oh so, my god. Uh, Carl bought uh, dude wipes. Yeah, which are, that? yeah, I was on They're... Amazon and I saw wipes and I was like, oh hey, uh, <laughs> I'll get whatever. And then it was like dude wipes and I was like fucking whatever. And then he was like, and why I'm... did you buy gendered butthole wipes? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> gendered, gendered butthole wipes. wipes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now whenever I uh, I go shopping and I buy them, I'm like, I'm buying ungendered butthole wipes, and I just buy the store brand. Fantastic. I, like, Look, I didn't want to buy a brand that says baby wipes. Oh, oh, baby will wipe your butthole. But I also was like, I don't want to buy this thing that says dude wipes. That's stupid. <laughs> and I did anyway, and they were fine. They're yeah, just fucking wipes. They felt cool. No, They're man. scented like motor oil and that. Not at all. It was like manly. winter fresh. Winter fresh. Nah, dude. Fucking Pampers all the way. Shout out to Pampers. Please sponsor us. <laughs> Shout out to Pampers. <laughs> oh, I don't have a fact about a boat. Wait, can I just now that you've brought up shout out to Pampers? That link you said before we started recording, Carl, about that uh, chess boxing thing. Yeah. The funniest thing to me is that it's sponsored by, like, some computer company, and then also on the exact opposite side of the spectrum, Fansly. Yeah, it's a computer <laughs> company that I believe uh, the streamer Ludwig owns, and then Fansly. Ah, yeah. Who also sponsored the aforementioned creator boxing. Did they? I didn't yeah. know they sponsored that, actually. Yeah, they did. Okay, that makes sense why they do it a second time, then. I talked about the the, the submarine where they, like, fucking almost drowned yeah, and then they, they pulled the, the captain window closed, yeah. yeah, and the captain lied his ass off. Uh, what other one do we got here? Didn't realize he joined the podcast like this. I didn't realize Damn. either until we got to the questions, and I went, "Oh shit, I need a fact." We could just like make up a boat fact. No, well, no, lying. we're not. Yeah, we're no, we, we, don't, we don't we don't do that here. Oh, okay. we are a legitimate boating podcast. That's true. That's true. We can lie about a lot of things, but not boats. That's true. True. Yeah. I don't know. I've told nothing but truths on this Has, podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Has anyone here been on a boat? Uh, name one lie. One? <laughs> one. I mean, go geez, ahead. Picking one specific one's very hard. Yeah. Damn. Your All right, pick pick your favorite. You see? Bunch that of bullshit. you're not a criminal? I, I am not a criminal. Yeah, you okay. said it again. You, it's you, my favorite you one. You literally walked into a call and was like, I accidentally stole these cookies, put them in my pocket, walked Ax- home with them. <laughs> no, first off, you're, sli- you're saying plural. It was one protein cookie. How do you accidentally steal one Stopped cookie? Stopped it in his pocket Beca- and walked away. Because I had it, I put PM. I put it in my pocket because my hands were full with all of my other purchased goods. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, while I was reaching for my wallet, and then it just stayed in there. I forgot about it. <laughs> Same thing I happened with the mail that one time I was drunk. I'll excuse this one because this is exactly how I brought home. Uh, I think it was Reese's. I said, and then forgot about them for four hours. You see, a simple mistake doesn't make me a criminal. Does in the eyes of the U.S. government. Well, it's a good thing I'm Canadian. For now. <laughs> Shush! He's not supposed to know. None of them are supposed to know. Considering how hard it is to, to become a, a, be a, 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 a school uh, custodian, I don't think I'm coming to America anytime soon. You say hard, but all Carl said you had to do was get fingerprinted. That's yeah, true. but then there's like the whole, you know, drug possession and all that. Well, he said that he was working with literal, actual crackheads. Yeah, but you can, oh, like, I mean... smoke crack on your free time as long as you don't get caught. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm technically correct. Let me, let, yeah, me tell yes! you all, let me tell you all about the, uh, the Lubov or Lova. Sure. Okay. Bless you. Misha, please put that on screen so we don't butcher the pronunciation. It is a Misha, 19... please put that on screen so we butcher the pronunciation. <laughs> it is a 1976 Yugoslavia-built ice-strengthened cruise ship. Okay. Ice strengthened? That, yeah, that sounds uh, rad. I, I don't know what the fuck that means. I'm assuming it's, oh, it's to, to break through ice. Yeah. Uh, it was taken out of service in 2010, sat in Newfoundland for two years, and eventually uh, just sort of went floating out to sea <laughs> around 2013. With people on it? No. Oh, okay. Just derelicts floating around. They think it sunk. 
They have oh. no proof that it has. Okay. All right. If anyone's out at sea and catches wind of this boat, send in a message. There was a uh, let's see. There was worry at one point that uh, in January 2014, speculation based on an interview with a salvager that the ship might be nearing the coast of England and be infested with cannibal rats. What? Oh. The rumors were subsequent, uh, subsequently, subsequently. You'll get there. Hell, that would, that would be a moment. Subsequently? Subsequently, thank you. No <laughs> oh, so that's what it feels like. Okay. I have an excuse. I'm sick. I'm sick all the time. I don't know what yeah, you're okay. talking about. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm really in good at head. skateboarding. And in November of 2017, the British tabloid The Daily Star speculated wreckage buried in sand on the beach at Coronado, California. Might huh. be the missing ship, but the wreck is actually that of the SS Monte Carlo. So they don't okay. know where the ship is. It's just floating out there, or it's somewhere under the waves. Maybe is, I stole it. Is there a salvage bounty listed? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Damn. Maybe it's in our backyard. Probably not. But did you check? It's just sort of gone. No one knows where it is. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe it'll come for your house. Spooky. Yeah, I, I stole it and sold it. Sorry. God damn it. I wish you did, and then we'd have fucking money. Not much, though. No, I spent all that money. On a different spookier I'll boat. Until you did. That you then pushed out to sea. Well, this has been another episode of Dipships. Thank you all for listening. Uh, remember to support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash dipshipspod. And if you can't afford to, hey, podcast sink or swim based on word of mouth, so just make sure you spread the podcast. <laughs> the podcast around with anyone you think <laughs> would like it. <laughs> That's a Pokemon right there, Podograss. It probably is. The new grass type starter. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Pay me into your, 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 your bit. Uh yeah, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to think of it. Hold on. Uh, Hold on. What there. do we what do we talk about on this podcast? Everything. Uh, Boats. If if you know someone that's jacked off to a poster, share this <laughs> podcast. There we go. go. <laughs> that's it. That's a good call. Yep, good one. If you know a poster, uh <laughs> put this podcast on it. <laughs> God damn it. Like a transcript, every single word that yeah. we've said. At that point, like ninety percent of the poster would be taken up by laughter. <laughs> If you know uh, a poster, duck. Post this duck. Yeah, actually, no, you're correct. Post this you're duck. correct. Hey, you have many ducks to choose from. You yeah, have a plethora of them now. I'm, I'm going to walk duck. around the city to see if I can find more. Please, one of please these find more duck. Please find more duck. Well, thank you all for duck. listening, and uh, we'll see you all in the Nautical Mile. Toodles! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs>